I'm Dr. Roger and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam calculator section. We're given a system of equations and one of the equations is nonlinear. It's a quadratic with x-intercepts at negative 3 and positive 7 and the y-intercept would be at x equals 0, negative 21. And we have a ln y equals x minus 7, so the y-intercept is negative, and the x-intercept is positive 7. Oh. That gives us one point of intersection already just graphing it by hand. The x value would be x equals 7 at one point of intersection, and looks like negative something between 0 and 3, but not negative 3, and certainly not negative 7 for the other the correct answer would be D. I can graph this on my graphing calculator. If you have a graphing calculator, as you see, it's not necessary because we should be able to graph this by hand. If I go to y equals and put x plus 3, x minus 7 in y1, and x minus 7 in y2, I'm going to go to the standard window, zoom 6, and the graph looks somewhat lo like what I just drew, except their line is, of course, straighter. And I can find the point of intersection using the intersect feature on any graphing calculator and I get x equals negative 2 or finding it again and moving my cursor closer to the other point of intersection I get x equals positive 7 so that gives us the answer relatively quickly. I can also solve algebraically if I substitute the expression for y from the first equation into the second equation, I get x plus 3, x minus 7 equals x minus 7. And we have to be careful here. I'm not allowed to just divide by x minus 7 if that happens to be equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract x minus 7 from both sides. And normally I'd be tempted to foil this and distribute to avoid confusion, but I've received a lot of questions recently about how to do this without foil, so I'm going to do that. I have x plus 3, x minus 7, minus 1, x minus 7, equals 0. So I'm going to factor out the common factor of x minus 7, and I get x minus 7 times x plus 3 minus 1 equals 0. If I have a product that equals 0, either the first factor is 0, x minus 7 equals 0, add 7 to both sides, and I get x equals 7, which is the answer I already found. Or the second factor is 0, x plus 3 minus 1 equals 0, that's x plus 2 equals 0. If I subtract 2 from both sides, I get x equals negative 2. That is a correct value, possible value of x for a solution. However, it's not one of the answer choices, so I can't use that solution. The only answer is choice D, x equals 7. College Board will ask you multiple systems of equations, so make sure you're proficient in solving these in a variety of approaches including using your graphing calculator if you have one, but that calculator is not necessary to solve these. And come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.